Your Excellency Silva Kier, President of the Republic of South Sudan, Your Excellency Yuweri Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency Omar Hassan al-Bashir, President of the Republic of Sudan, Your Excellency Sahla Wark Zueda, President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Your Excellency Mustafa Kamal, Prime Minister of Egypt. Excellencies, distinguished dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's a great honor for me to be, to be part of this historic and an extraordinary celebration of peace here in Juba. Mr. President, thank you for your warm welcome and hospitality according to me and my delegation. As a signatory to the peace deal, this celebration gives me immense hope that the protracted disagreements and tension is finally over. This clearly shows that South Sudan is committed to revitalize agreement on the resolution of conflict. This is indeed a momentous occasion. It's a noble cause that's intended to bear the fruits of harmony, coexistence, and sustainable peace and prosperity for South Sudan and indeed for our region. I applaud IGAD's collective efforts, President al-Bashir, and President Yuweri Museveni's commitment and dedication and all those who made the agreement possible. A peaceful and prosperous South Sudan means progress for the entire region. Excellencies, please allow me to share a little bit of history with you about Somalia. We had been through the ugly effects of civil war and conflict we had witnessed decades of war. We know what it caused and consequences, the death and destruction, the refugees and displacement, the breakdown of government and institutions. We are, we, we are still reeling from the effects of prolonged conflict. Civil, civil war is the worst thing that can happen to a country, and more so to a country as young as unhopeful as South Sudan. The real cause of peace is known to be one who has lost it. Even as we celebrate this remarkable agreement of peace, let's all remember that no deal is always perfect. No arrangement is without flaws. No negotiation is perfectly balanced. That's why the real test of leader is to have the nobility to make concession and put this country and his people first. In Somalia, it took us nearly two generations to put our house in order. In our period of chaos, the world did not wait for us. Countries prospered, multilateralism expanded, and neighbors developed. And now we are realized that we need to double our effort and speed up development effort to make up for the years that we lost during the civil war. I would not wish, I would not wish the same for our brothers and sisters in South Sudan. You have shown a great statesmanship in coming together to end the protracted conflict. I urge you to join hands to see your country into the right path towards peace and development. Somalia is proud to have huge stake in the peace arrangement between our neighbors of Horn of Africa. Somalia is promoting in an effort to realize a complete economic integration for the region in order to end poverty and conflict in the Horn of Africa. President Silva Kier has already engaged regional economic integration by hosting Somali entrepreneurs to do business here in South Sudan, and we thank you. I believe we can do more together. Let's broaden, broaden our scope in economic cooperation and regional security. 
the issue that affects us individually also affect us collectively. Now more than ever, we need to consolidate our collective contribution, contributions with the common goal of peace and security and promote economic opportunity for all our people. I thank you.